Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. We are new to my channel. My name is Ali. I upload three videos a week beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys my Juvia's Place video finally. First, let me say this. I did not do this video to jump on the bandwagon of full face of black owned beauty brands like that's not why i jumped on this bandwagon I'll, I'll support them gladly but i did this because i seen one post on in, on facebook that made me really 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 just want to try out more products from juvia's place and i'll leave that post linked down in the description box below second let me address something i chopped off all my hair i love it one thing about me is that i'm just a short hair person and I try and I try and I try to grow my hair out and it's like it doesn't last long of it being maybe like right here around my rib cage. Like I just can't. And the reason I waited so long this time is because I wanted my next chop to be where I cut off all my hair from where I last dyed it. Which was about two years ago. It's like that brass, all that brassiness that was at the bottom. I chopped all that off. So this is my natural hair color, not dyed. This is all natural, other than it being straight. So yeah, this is my new hair, and I'm excited. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into applying some makeup. I did go ahead and do my brows off camera because it's not Juvia's Place products. Neither are quite a few products just because I either didn't have it or I just didn't want to purchase it or you know budget so I got what I really needed for mostly a full face of Juvia's Place but like I said a lot of it is not Juvia's Place and I will explain as I get there why I didn't purchase those products for instance the brows they didn't have brow products I thought they did but it was actually just an eyeliner so yeah but yes so that's the reason i didn't do brows and i didn't see any primers on their website if they did they were probably mattifying and that's why i didn't buy it so they either didn't have them or they're probably mattifying and that's why i didn't buy it so what i'm going to do because i have played with all of these products just one time and i know that the foundation's a little bit more matte and a little bit thicker so what i want to do is go in with my touch and soul glassy skin balm for my first primer Apply this all over our face. Me and my sister had one conversation about which pimples hurt more, eyebrow, pi eyebrow pimples or lip pimples. And I said lip pimples hurt more than eyebrow, pi eyebrow pimples. And ever since that one conversation, my lip, like I, my lip keeps breaking out. And mind you, I haven't wore makeup up until yesterday. So I haven't worn makeup for about three weeks because I didn't wear makeup at all during the week of my surgery. And then I didn't wear makeup the week after. And then I barely put on makeup yesterday at my two week post-op mark. So I'm now 15 days post-op and I barely wore makeup yesterday. So it's been about three weeks since I had wore makeup. So I don't know what was making my skin go crazy. Sorry, now I'm going in with the Pores No More Luminizer Primer by um, Dr. Brown. I'm just gonna apply this everywhere, but mostly on our pore problem areas i don't want to use my urban decay pour thing because it is a little bit mattifying which i don't know what's going on but i really feel like i have normal slightly oily skin now like it could be the primers i don't know but when i did my makeup yesterday like by the end of the day i looked oily and i didn't change like i used the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation, but usually it doesn't look like how it looked yesterday. I should have took a picture, but it's probably because I used the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder. We're just gonna say that's what it was. Okay, so before we get started on our eyes, I am gonna go ahead and apply some of my little Elf Eye Tape. Okay, so the first thing we'll be going in with is our Juvia's Place Concealer. I have mine in the shade 18. And we're just gonna apply this to our lips and then I'm just gonna blend that out oh with God. the Hank and Henry sponge, the little one. 
that I got in a boxy charm. And now for our eyeshadow palette, I have the Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral Palette. Now this is a really pretty palette. I like how it has where like you could be bright and summery, but then it also has shades to where like you could do something dark and smoky you could do bronzy you could do cool tone you could do warm tone like i really really like this eyeshadow palette i did use it once but i didn't use it very many shades but i do know that there's not a color that i could go in with to set my entire eyelids down with i'm just going to take a little bit of their translucent powder and set my eyelids down Okay, so I kind of wore this shirt because I knew I was going to be using this palette today, but I have no idea what I want to do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here and just start buffing that slowly into my crease. Okay, so I like these eyeshadows because they're starting, like, not starting, but you they're pigmented, but they blend out easily and also they're buildable. It's not just bam pigmented. So they're easy to manipulate on your eye if you do get too much. But if you don't wanna go in heavy handed, you can definitely build it up as well. If you're wanting a light color, you can go in light handed. Like you can build them up to your liking. Like, do you want a lot of color? You want a little color? Like what's your vibe? My watch is telling me to get up and stop being fat. My watch is going crazy right now because it's so used to me working out so much or like burning so many calories and it's always like, yo, what's going on? Basically is what my watch tells me every day. Okay, now I think I wanna take this peachy color. Yeah, this peachy color and start doing a little something something with that. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take that on the outer corner and just kind of go up a, like right into the crease. Totally gonna overpower what we just did. Should have used a smaller brush. Okay, so this brush is too big. So let's try something like this. Question Do y'all close y'all's eyes while you do your eyeshadow like this? Or do you do your eyeshadow with your eye open? just slightly closed. I do both, but I like realize that when I close my eye, it feels weird to open it afterwards. Now I am gonna go ahead and go in with this brown right here. And we're gonna take an even smaller brush, like this one, and start building that up just on the outer edge of our eye. My ear is ringing. So my sister called, so it stopped recording for a little bit, but um, all I did was just finish building up, slowly building up that brown color just to deepen that up a little bit. And I must say that like, these aren't patchy or anything and they're really easy to build up. So yeah, just slowly taking a little bit by a little bit, building up that brown color. And then I will go back in with that really pretty coral color and just blend it out a little bit. Okay, so now what I wanna do is, mm, we're gonna take this shade closer to the outer corner. Okay, so we're gonna take this shade closer to the outer corner, probably just from like right, let me see. Yeah, from like right here over. We're gonna use that like maroony, browny color. Now I'm just taking it on a brush. This is dry. Ooh, guys, I love Juvia's Place shimmers. They're so good. Okay, so like I said, we're just taking it and then we're just gonna kind of flick at the edge so that way there's no harsh line. So then, oof, what color do I wanna use? I think. I'm gonna use this one down here and put that on the inner part of my eyelid. Taking the same brush, just the opposite side of the brush. And like I said, it's dry. Whew. Just gonna start blending these two together. Flip the brush, blend that edge where they meet. And same thing on the other eye. Okay, so that is it for the eyes for right now. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of this Otisili, um liquid liner, and then I'm gonna go in with my Tarte, what is this? I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Lattish Lat, <laughs> oh my gosh, Tarte Tartist Lash Paint, and then my lashes in the style Courage. So I'm gonna do all of that off camera, and then I will be right back. Okay, so mascara, lashes, and liner are on. Ethan's a little snitch, likes to come tell me everything. Literally. Ooh, it's like, it's so cute. Not a lot of fallout. I had a little bit on this eye, I'm not sure why, but like, none on this side. Oh, I just smeared some from wiping off my other eye. But yeah, super duper cute. So the next thing, of course, we're gonna go in with is the Juvia's Place Foundation. I, I, I will say this, this will work for dry skin if you use moisturizing stuff underneath and I would recommend blending it out with the sponge since the sponge is going to bring out, is going to add a little bit more moisture. And y'all, it's like nobody ever calls until you're actually doing something. But to be fair, I didn't tell my usual people like, hey, I'm filming, so don't call, but it happens, it's whatever. So the next thing we're gonna go in with is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. I have mine in the shade Martinique, shade 550. And you guys, this has some serious coverage. Like it covered up, you'll see like on my arm, I have a little mole and it covered up that mole. So like I was saying, I would recommend using a sponge with this, just that way it's easier to blend out. Like it adds a little bit more moisture because this is a pretty like thick foundation. And then we are just gonna start blending this in with, with our skin, with our sponge. And it is a little bit light, so it does change color though. You see that? So it's actually gonna adapt a little bit as it dries down. Y'all see that? I don't know if you could tell that it was, we'll see. I'll do a side by side here in a sec. Um, whenever I first start blending it out, compared to how it dries down. Okay, so if you could tell, it looked like it was gonna be way too light for me, but once it dried down, it matched perfectly. So you'll be able to tell now the difference. So how light it is and what it dries down to. So with this foundation, I would say the color that they show online is true to color with the foundation because once I got it in, I was like, ooh, like this looks nothing. And I, you know, I swatched it and stuff. I was like, man, this looks nothing like the shade that it looked like online or I would have went deeper. But the thing is that when it's wet and you're manipulating it, it's actually lighter than once it starts to dry down. So now that it's dried it down, it's actually my perfect shade and it looks exactly how it looks on the online picture. I'm just gonna take a little bit more and do my forehead. Cause it's the only place I haven't got. And also I'm gonna add a little bit more to my cheeks just to cover up some stuff, but not really to like areas that crease a lot because since it is a drier formula, it can look cakey and creasier areas and you wanna not add too much. So too much product can make it look creasy and cakey in certain areas so just be mindful of that so now we are going to go ahead and go in with the concealer on uh, from juvia's place i think this is the i am magic concealer and i have mine in the shade number 18. same thing with well actually different with this one it looks light through the packaging and it looks super light online or dark but this like the color that it comes out is actually a little bit different than the color of what it looks like in the tube. So I'm just gonna take a dot here, tiny dot there, dot here, tiny dot there, up and down the nose, and then just my chin. And this concealer is super creamy. I didn't have any problems with it creasing or like anything like that. Honestly, if they could make a foundation with this same formula, I'd be all for it. And you see the crazy thing with the concealer is that it blends out lighter than it goes on. It's like the opposite of the foundation, which blends out darker and dries down darker. And I've been taking a less is more approach with my face products. 
So adding more light layers of different products rather than just one heavy layer of certain products. I just didn't color correct with this foundation because I already knew it was super light, full coverage light. Obviously the next thing we would be going in with is the Juvia's Place setting powder and I got mine in the shade White Sands. This is actually a really good powder you guys and it is translucent. It's a little bit light. They have all different shades. The only reason I got White Sands is because it's the only one that they had in stock that was actually going to work for my skin tone. So as you guys know go ahead and blend out any creasing that may have formed and then set down. So even though it looks super light it's not going to alter anything that we have already on our have already down on our face too much okay now for the rest of my face i'm not gonna take a sponge i'm not gonna take a sponge i'm actually just gonna take powder brush like this and lightly dust it on the rest of my face Okay, so the reason I lightly dusted is because like I said, that foundation is pretty matte and even though my skin is getting a little bit more oily, it can look pretty bad and creasy in certain areas, right there and between my brows. So, let me see, I might just wanna bake right there really fast for a little bit. So while that's baking for a little bit, we are gonna go ahead and just finish up if I can close this. We're just gonna go ahead and finish up our lower lash line. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this one. Okay, and now I'm gonna take the darker brown color and I'm gonna focus that on the outer part of my lower lashes. Okay. And now I'm just gonna take my ColourPop BFF Creme Gel Liner in the shade Honey Dude and tight line with that. And then I'm just gonna take that TARDIS Lash Paint Mascara and coat the bottom lashes. But before that, we need to dust this powder off. Okay, so now that we are done with that, I don't have a bronzer, but um, from Juvia's Place, because all they really had was like either a darker concealer or their color sticks. So, and when bronzers are in that form, I just know I won't get enough out of it for the price. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my Nomad Cosmetics palette and I'm gonna go in with this bronzer right here in the shade Manly, Manly Beach. Okay, so I do actually have their blush. This is their Sephirina blush and that's actually the shade name and I don't know if the blushes actually have, oh, the Afriki, Afriki or Afrique? It's either Afrique or Afriki blush by Juvia's and I have the shade Safrina. You guys, this packaging is so flippin' cute. Like, mm, all the summer vibes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this brush. Let's take off some of the color that's on here. Okay, I did my color switch just to get most product off. Just gonna dab a little bit in here and just start applying it. You don't need a lot of this. I did think it was gonna be a lot deeper, or a little bit deeper because of the picture online, but it's actually not. It was like my perfect kind of shade. So if you like like coral peachy blushes, like me, I would recommend this blush. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take this brush right here and we're just gonna blend that out. Okay, and you guys, I have two highlighters here. I have the Heroin Glow 1 and the Heroin Glow 2. So this is just what the Heroin Glow 1 looks like. It's pretty golden and really pretty. It definitely has that strong gold shift to it with a little bit of bronze in it. And then the Heroin Glow 2 is actually like a pink bronzed marbled type of color. And so I thought I would highlight my inner corner and brow bone with the Heroin Glow 2. And then we will highlight the face with Heroin Glow 1. So we're gonna go ahead and just take a little pencil brush with Heroin Glow 2. This, since it does have that pink bronzy shift to it, it matches our eye look perfectly. It's not 
too much. Okay, and now for Heroin Glow One, take my favorite highlighting brush. And guys, you don't need a lot of this. So I'm just gonna go one, two. Well, I think that was three, whatever. And just start lightly applying that. And you see how it has a lot of gold. I'm gonna set my brows down really fast, guys. Okay, guys, so for lips, just because I want the whole look to come together, I'm taking my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Little One. And I'm also taking my Profusion Matte Lip Liner in the shade Charm. So I'm gonna do this one on the outer part. Like, line my lips with this. God, my lip is so fat and swollen from that pimple that was right there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little one and fill my lips all the way in. That is just too cute and too perfect for this makeup look. Loving my short hair. Oh, I love having short hair, oh my goodness. And now, last but not least, gloss. Take a little bit of glossy gloss. This is the Essence Shine 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 lip gloss. Mm. Why pay 20 to 40 bucks for a lip gloss when you can get a bomb one for like $2.99, $3.99? Go with Essence. And they have multiple shades. So, mm, so pretty. Last and final step is, of course, setting this all down. So, I'm going to use my Hydra Matte Fixing Spray because it's the strangest thing. It hydrates but it keeps oil suppressed, so it won't look bad with this foundation. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought about today's video. Any more video suggestions? Sorry it wasn't a complete full face of Juvia's Place, but we made it work and it looks real cute. So this is just what it's looking like. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.